everybody. Tuesday Night Scar Club live from Cats Fest 5 in San Antonio, Texas. Uh, we are joined now by Robert and Sharon Holt, Southern Draw Cigars. Um, Robert sat with us two, two Cats years Fests ago. Fests ago, I think. We yeah, first I think met, so. Two years. Uh, we first met Robert. Through that, uh, that uh, typhoon that hit us. Yeah. Uh, it was madness. Um, and now we're actually broadcasting from the surface of the sun today. So that's... Uh, <laughs> But uh, nobody's complaining. Everybody's having a really good time. You guys look like you're getting a ton of traffic down there. we got a little something special to share today, right? So um, most everybody that comes to CATS supports us throughout the year, and we try to support CATS throughout the year. So um, the fact that we had a new cigar released in the last, you know, around Easter time, um, there's a good message behind the cigar, and ultimately uh, it's kind of rare that Sharon gets to come out with us time so uh, i think the traffic right now is you know coming down to visit with her and, and see her because it's it's uh it's a rare occasion i think it is so. and uh i actually want to jump right to it because uh i've seen a lot of these uh unique boxes floating around the, the festival um this would be the rose of sharon the cigar uh, robert was just telling us about um autographed by sharon herself she don't know she's beautiful man you Where, like where's that from the great sammy kershaw the great sammy kershaw <laughs> You sure it wasn't air supply? It wasn't air supply. <laughs> <laughs> um, man, uh, with this, you kind of put all of us other husbands in the doghouse. How do you, uh, uh, you, you you create a cigar for your for your lovely wife, and uh, it's got this cool package, and it's getting like crazy good reviews. Um, congratulations, man. I'm happy for you guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Tell us a little bit about the cigar. Well, you know, um, I think most people know that Southern Draw has its core line. The Kudzu and the Firethorn are well known. Um, we, after that, launched the Quick Draw line, which does come in a Connecticut, uh, a Dark Habano, and a Maduro, Pennsylvania Broadleaf. Uh, but what we were missing is a Connecticut on that left end of the spectrum. Um, and Connecticut Shade Wrappers cigars still dominate the market as far as overall uh, sales in the United States. But it's something that we wanted to wait patiently for. We wanted a, a, a blend that developed over time. And I'm not a big C Connecticut smoker, right? Right. Um, but I think if you get back to the message of the cigar, which to us is as important as the cigar itself, we wanted to create a Connecticut that we feel like Connecticut smokers traditionally would enjoy, but people that smoke those medium to full body cigars would step down to, right? Yeah. Um, so the She Don't Know She's Beautiful, it's also a reference to the actual Rose of Sharon. You know, if you think about a, a plant or a flower, right? You got these beautiful petals, but you always have those thorns. And if you know my wife, I've known her for 20 something years, very soft and subtle and sweet, but you know, she's very um, uh, focused on the things that are important in our life and it helps us stay focused. So her attitude and, and, uh, and her temperament um, has afforded us to kind of bra uh, brand this thing effectively. So you have a Connecticut with this nice Piloto Lajero, that little bite and that little spice, and mm. then you pair it into with her personality. It just worked well for us. It was just the perfect message for us. And again, credit to sammy kershaw because nobody can say it better because she is a very humble she's sitting next to me and it's kind of a rare occasion but a very humble you know uh centered person very faithful person but i think that cigar just reflects her personality that's awesome you know i you, you meet especially in this industry there's some uh, you know 99 percent all good people but boy some real unique characters some real uh personalities uh you know i think from the first time we sat down with you guys i mean you, you two are some of the most centered just kind of down to earth uh, approachable. I mean, I think that first night in Cats Fest after yeah. we interviewed you, we ended up just the staying out in the parking lot and drinking moonshine. Uh, just, uh, you know, it's just, uh, y you can kind of tell um, when someone's trying to sell you stuff and when someone's actually just sitting down and talking to you and, and uh, really is passionate about what they do. And that, that really comes across with you guys. We love so. people. We it, genuinely love it shows. People. I appreciate it because outside of the camera, I'm a pretty big introvert. And that, that dinner y'all made, I was, I was telling Kate last night, I was like, the dinner that we met you guys at was really cool because I don't even think that y'all were at our table. I think y'all made a mistake. <laughs> and, uh, but y'all just sat down and started... Like nobody ever sits with us Y'all just purpose. sat down started talking and drew me in and, I, and my wife was there and she was like, man, those are pretty cool people. I was like, Aww. all right, let's, we fortuitous. can do this. It was yeah. fortuitous. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, we were talking yesterday. Uh, you guys just got a, a hundred review for the Rose of Sharon, which I don't know if I've ever... I don't know we if I've ever seen a hundred. Truly blown away. Truly grateful and humbled by that. Um, I think I cried for half the day. I really? <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, I'm not kidding. I was just. And honestly, you know, we uh, 
truly we, blown away. We share all of our cigars with the media. If they're interested in sharing those, uh, we'll find the right retailer. You know, when we get the opportunity to visit, we share the cigars. Um, and we are very um, committed to sharing every review and everybody spends time smoking our cigars and sharing it. What we liked about this review is the 100 rating, any of us could Google, and it's hard to find a 100 rated cigar sure. in history. Um, and again, I think when I responded to that, I was taken aback, um, needless to say. Um, but uh, if you Google it, you're going to probably find two or three cigars in history. And these are very well-known cigars that uh, have lots of age and cost hundreds and hundreds of dollars. But, you know, as I said in, in my response, um, Philip Cohn has been in the cigar media a long time. And, and he's, he's a great a writer. Very unique uh, with his background. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with him. Uh, no, a, I'm not. He was a touring musician in some, some, some big bands back in the 70s. Okay. Uh, he, he writes just, uh, he goes off on, you know, he inserts stories about his, 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 his days um, playing music. And he's just, he's a very unique voice uh, he is. in the cigar world. Very entertaining, but he has a great command of uh, the language and more importantly has a great passion for cigars and you know as I said to Sharon I said you know you don't want to be crass but if we got an 88 from him we would have shared it the same mm -hmm. and we yeah. would have celebrated the same and there's in the cigar industry there's nothing perfect right it's a handmade product that's so many hands and Pedro said it nicely last night it's about the people the people that participate in every step of this process yeah. and we really embrace that this is the one business that we know that every penny we spend we know who it goes to we know how humble they are how hard-working they are they're mostly I mean just very godly family centered people so that's what we love about it um, but when someone like Philip comes in that has been praised by so many people in, in the cigar industry that says you know this guy's a very sharp palate is a very great way of telling the story to uh, award something you know like this to the little southern draw it's uh, it's got a big impact on us it's it's one of those strange things where you you've created something that literally hit all the right notes on this guy's palate. I mean, that's that's a hard thing to do. There's always something that you wish it had more of or something. That Absolutely. You, but that one moment in time, right? And we say, you know, all of us have our flaws, but and there's no perfect people, but sometimes a relationship is perfect. Right. And uh, if you go back to us, you know, I, I can be honest and say that after 20 years, we've probably spent 15 years doing other businesses that really pulled us apart. Mm -hmm. um, right wrong or indifferent it happened and this is the business that put us back together and put us working together um so when you take phil's background and you take that rating and you take our story um it's very telling for us right so it's it's actually emotional if you think about it so mm -hmm. it's a good it week is. for southern yeah. draw yeah. yeah good week for southern draw. we're closer than ever because of this business and you know god has a perfect plan and here it is that scares me a little bit because now i'm thinking i have to open a sewing lab with my wife you should you totally <laughs> no. should well, so if you do podcast? stitch work, we'll probably give you some work. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have you guys on Let our new uh, we'll, crochet we'll podcast. Is this um, anything else new coming out this year, or is this? Absolutely. 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 Um, if we go back to May of last year when the deeming regs came down for the FDA, I think most everybody's aware that Southern Draw didn't make it to IPCPR. Um, for a variety of reasons but the most important was we saw that short window between May and July as an opportunity to look at our 10 15 20 year plan blends that we had brands that we had in our mind in our heart that we wanted to be able to release and uh, we, we're following the rules we're, we're making the investment of time and resource to if we believe that if other brands win in this industry after the FDA really has full regulation and control that we'll win yeah. um, we're not sitting back waiting for something you know some miracle to happen um so um we do have a cigar that's going to reach over to the right side of the spectrum that is a full-bodied full-flavored cigar um that'll release for the show and okay. uh i'll just tell you it's a uh, it's got another great message um of course as any cigar we do is is produced at aj fernandez um which is Two, for us, two things, consistency and sustainability, and we found a home there. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, but this new double Maduro, double Lajero is going to compete with the strongest Dominican cigars, but it has that true complexity and flavor of a Nicaraguan cigar. So we're very excited about something that's... Got my uh, interest. Uh, yes. uh, and it'll come with a disclaimer, uh, disclaimer. If you don't eat protein, <laughs> if you're a vegetarian, right. run. Yeah. Run. Like it. it will drop you. Um, but we really wanted to have something that's that LFD, you know, Romacraft Neanderthal, um, black label morphine. We really want something with some true strength and flavor yeah. um, that we think we've just, between us and AJ, we really believe that it's going to be a, another hit for us. Yeah. 
Awesome. Well, it's been cool to, too. I mean, and and when you made your announcement that you weren't going to uh, IPCPR, it actually made a lot of sense, and I'm surprised a lot more. I mean, there's just so much to deal with mm-hmm. at that time. Mm-hmm. That's a huge investment of money and time away from, like you said, taking care of business the way you're supposed to. I mean, it's a it's a whole learning process sure. to just drop that, and and I mean, it made sense. And it had to be right. You yeah, know, right. you didn't get another chance. And, and from what we've heard and the, the, the folks we've been talking to, the ones that are doing it right and are working with the FDA are somewhat surprised at it seems to be going somewhat smoothly in the early ons. Slow, but but they're not running into a lot of the worst case fears. Uh, or is it just too soon to tell? I think it's too soon to tell. And I would tell people, uh, beware of the snake charmer, you know. Um, yeah. You're listening Don't to the music. You yeah. You're kind of swaying back and forth. Uh, the FDA is not going to go away. And if you make the effort, if you make the investment, if you have sound counsel, um, I believe that you'll be okay. Uh, but if you're waiting for something to happen where it just goes away um, and you're not making the investment, I've seen a lot of new cigars come out over the last year that, through my research, says that they did not exist pre August 8th of last year, which puzzles me because we would yeah. never do it. We talk about it all the time. Uh, like, and I go, it's where? It's easier to ask for forgiveness than for permission. permission. <laughs> right, Absolutely. right, right. Yeah. We're just not going to do it. Um, yeah, no. and, and we hope, but we also, you know, we're relatively young in the business, right? But, um, those people that are making that investment and making that commitment and risking their livelihood to try to be in compliance and be there, I think they should be rewarded. And we, we wish everybody well. Sure. So that's why we say we think that everybody that goes through this process and invests um, should, be, should all win together. Yeah. And if they don't, I, I, it's hard to feel sorry. Um, if you're just waiting for somebody else, resting on your laurels, yeah. whether you choose uh, an organization to support or multiple organizations or lobbying efforts or state associations, you need to do something. I, and, and I think you made a good point. The the time frame has passed where this is just going to go away and mm-hmm. uh, th- there's not going to be a, a miracle um, right. in that regard. So, um, yeah, kudos for, for doing it the right way. And, you know, uh, speaking of, you know, the young company, since we first met two, two Cats Fest ago, I mean, y'all are showing up in so many more uh, brick and mortar shops. Mm-hmm. I know because, you know, he's, he smokes the, the, I say it a little, Kudzu? Kudzu. Kudzu. <laughs> I was, I, I, was all, I almost said, don't you mean kudzudos? Yeah, <laughs> kudzudos to you. I, it's one of those words. No, I, just, I butcher it constantly. But yeah, I mean, you 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 yeah. smoke those religiously. Uh, kudzu, uh, the firethorn. I also mm-hmm. like. It's a very clean taste. It's mm-hmm. it's really nice. It's yeah. got a nice little classic thing. My wife actually likes it too. That's uh, one so. of my favorites, the firethorn. But yeah, uh, we, you know, all through Central Texas, and then you know, in Austin, I guess, you guys are just. I think growing right now we sell in uh, at some presence in about 40 states about 450 locations yeah. so you know through organic growth um, you know we always say that everybody in this industry has helped us somewhere along the way um, and helped us uh, bypass lessons that we probably should have earned the hard way yeah um, but uh, the team's working hard you know and and we're growing as fast as we can but still maintaining and managing and we don't believe in back orders and it really I know it's part of business, but for us, it's disgusting. You know, yeah. we don't we don't want to do it. We mm-hmm. want to make sure that our customers that support us um, get the product first. Well, there's there's we nothing more frustrating than than having your your heart set on a product going in and and not being there. Mm-hmm. It just and then when you ask why isn't it here, I don't know. Yeah, could you imagine? On a Friday night at midnight, twelve oh five, you drive through Whataburger in Central Texas, and they're closed. Yeah, yeah. I mean, how depressed and how? I mean, just you're, it, it's, it's like your your world comes. I've to suffered an end. that depression. It's, yeah, it's, absolutely, it's no yeah. joke. So we try to meet that expectation, but you know, for us, it's still uh, uh, we get to spend a lot of time in the market with people. And yeah, you travel, you travel like crazy. Well, yeah. I only get to do that because she runs the office, right? She runs the warehouse, and it's not because she's sitting here. I, I I mention it at least three or four times a week, but. Um, she probably does the job of four or five people. I, I couldn't imagine, but um, that's what it takes. But ultimately, you know, there's a lot of people that traveled here to Cats that have come all over the country, and a couple of people from out of the country that said, "Hey, we came to visit with you guys again. We love people, and we want to be surrounded by good people. Yeah, it's awesome. We want to be surrounded by people that support our cause, right? Sure. Mm-hmm. Um, and this just happens to be that vehicle for us. Definitely. That's cool. It's an awesome story. Thank you. This is your third Cats Fest? Yes, sir. Is that correct? That's right. Yes. Seems like a good crowd. Seems like everybody's having a good time. Feels like family. It does at this Starting point. To, yeah, yeah we've, we missed one, uh, the second one, and, and we regretted it. And uh, yeah, yeah. We, we, it's just one of those things that you look forward to. And 
um, you know, it's just a unique industry that you, you see people once a year and it's, it's you just get right back to it. Absolutely. Um, did you bring moonshine this year? Well, first day was tequila, and then last night was whiskey, and tonight it'll probably be uh, something similar. Okay. Um, but you, you guys were sitting in front of us, and what happened last night, we had a pretty good group that came over that uh, originally didn't have Cats Fest tickets, but they're very loyal, good, close family friends oh, that support cool. the brand. And what happened is we all said it had such a good time tonight. Guess what? They went and bought li- tickets at the last. <laughs> oh, nice. Night. nice. They're all here. Yeah. Uh, nice. So we were kind of, you know, doing our doing our little powwow circle there, and you know, the level of sponsorship that Drew Estates and uh, Asylum and 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 uh, uh, those guys do, we try to back off and kind of get outside of the main tent and kind of hide in our little corner because you know those guys deserve it. You know, they've worked hard, so we don't want to rain on their parade by any means but sometimes that means we're kind of on the outskirts kind of looking well we we're there's nobody more on the outskirts than us and uh so <laughs> well, I, we were I, sitting behind I, you i respect night. that yeah, yeah actually you're the only <laughs> quite the space though. It's find nice. tncc you can go one step further <laughs> one more you'll fall off the earth um but no it's always good talking to you guys i, I couldn't be more happy uh for the rose of sharon uh we're going to feature this on the upcoming episode Thank you. and uh I hope we like it, or otherwise our interview next year will be awkward. Uh, <laughs> she, might, she might come along. <laughs> we trust you. We trust of, you. Of all the cigars ever, in the past or in the future, this one's the most important to me. So, uh, you know, I think, I, I just, we hope everybody enjoys it. We realize every palate's different. But uh, um, not being a Connecticut smoker by default, I don't smoke it for the message. I know the message. It's in my heart. But that cigar is good. It's a great little blend, and it just burns so well in all three Vitolas. Um, and we're excited to grow it because over time, you know what will happen. We'll bring out the Lancero. We'll bring out the Perfectos, and that line's going to grow for us. Sure. Yeah. So uh, hopefully everything, the Cudsu and the Fire Thorn can keep up. Well, without you guys, we couldn't be where we are, so we appreciate your time. Um, well, thank, here, so. thanks for taking time to talk to us. Thanks for supporting sure. Storm and, and Cats and uh, CFW, and, uh, you know, you guys are, are an invaluable presence here every year. So, Well, uh, we want to say thank you to our, to our customers and to the industry in general, and uh, we're grateful for everything, and um, you're, what, you're what motivates us every day, and so we appreciate it. Absolutely. Thanks, guys. Beautiful. Thank you. Robert and Sharon, Southern Draw Cigars, Tuesday Night Cigar Club, live from San Antonio. Stay tuned. Thank you. I get up, go to work, get drunk, go to sleep. I get up.